This Sunday we got six games for you to enjoy, from Russia's Far East to Adriatic Sea in the West. This is your Delic AHL update. First up, Vladivostok, Admiral holds their arch rivals Amor. After the first, Konstantin Makarov opens up the scoring in a power play with a new wrister from the left circle. That goes in top shelf just inside the far post. 1-0 Admiral. And Makarov is the one who seals the deal on this one as well as he scores an empty net alight in regulation. Makarov finishes the net with a pair of goals and Ivan Dalimov stops 28 shots and gets his third consecutive shutout. 2-0 Admiral is your final on this one. Off to Yekaterinburg now, we're off to on the list, how severe. On team gets off to a good start, Anatoly Golchev scores back-to-back -back goals in the opening frame and after on the list lead 2-0 after 20. Golchev now has 5 goals this season. Severe strike back late in the second as Tomas Vinsor scores his fourth of the year. Nice shot from the high slot to beat Jakub Pavlovich, 2-1. Third period now and Sibir tied up. Viktor Bobrov scores his first of the year from the hash marks, sending this one to his shootout. Maxim Shalunov proves once again he's a beast when it comes to that kind of stuff and wins the extra point for Sibir. They're currently first in the East with 32 points after 17 games. 3-2 Sibir shootout final. Welcome to Hansi Mansisk now, where Nikita Gusev and Yugra face Maxim Kazakov and Madlog Novokuznetsk. Now scoring in the first, so pick it up from the second and get a lot of Nikita Gusev. He skates into the zone down the left wing, gets to the high slot and sends it in for his sixth of the season. 1-0 Yugra. Kuznets add up short after that as Viktor Postnikov gets the puck on open ice and sends it in for his first career KHL goal. Tie game 1-1. Late in the period, Kuznik grabbed the lead. Ryan Stoll scores his seventh of the season on a power play as he gets lucky with the deflection. The puck goes in of Yugor Jodakov skate. Third period now and Yugor get it back. Igor Bordnikov improves his scoring streak to three games as he also gets a lucky bounce. Gusev gets an assist on this one and we're going to shoot out. Artem Belanski scores a dirty, dirty goal to put Yugor in the lead and Nikita Gusev seals the deal moments later. Yugor wins their third consecutive game and remains second in the East. 3-2, Yugra overtime is your final. We're in Helsinki, Finland now, where Jokeri take on Red Army. Less than two minutes into the game, Red Army opened up the scoring. Dmitry Kukushev feeds Evgeny Korkov at the point and it's cost the first of the season. 1-0 Red Army. A little later, Brandon Kozin gets an breakaway and is robbed by Yulia Sorokin. What a glove save by the 20-year-old. Wow! Second period now and Alexander Radulov has a few words to say to Pekka Yormaka. Not sure what this is about, but Radulov is not happy. Oh, he never appears to be on the ice anyway. Led in the period, Jokir like on the panel to Petro Virtin and skates to the high slot and beats Sorokin for his first of the season as well. Nice shot there. 1-1. One, one. Early in the third now and Rudarma get their lead back. Roman Lubimov kicks the puck over to Jeff Platt and he nets his 12th of the year. Top the league in goals and it's 2-1 Red Army. Late in the period, Simon Yalmerson scores his second of the year on an empty net and Red Army get their second win over Jokiri this season. 3-1 Red Army is your final. We're in Zagreb, Croatia now where Nicholas Weberg and Salva Tilaev go up against Gasper Kroshal and Matt Vishak. First period, home team on a power play, Milan Yurchina gets the puck on the blue line and he one times it home. What a blast! 1 0 Medvishak. Second period now, and one of Salavat's defensemen ties it up. Ivan Vishnevsky finds the back of the net for the fourth time this year, and this one comes on a power play as well. 1 1. Third period, and Salavat grabs the lead. Timo Hardikainen and skates to the far post, steps for a pass, gets the puck and scores. Hardikainen and makes 2-1 Salavak. Just over two minutes later, Hardikainen and picks up an assist as Mitri Makarov secures the win for Salavak. 3-1 with less than 10 minutes left in regulation. 
Nabishak get another goal from Milan Yurchina though, as they pull their goal for an extra attacker. Now that's all they got time for. Salavat still go on to win this one and take three points on the road. 3-2 Salavat is the final. Our last game of the night is happening in Bratislava, Slovakia. Slovan meet Magnitka and Sergei Mazakin is in town. Right in the opening frame, Magnitka get on the board. Denis Platonov scores his third of the season and this one comes short-handed. After the second period, Magnitka doubles their lead. Sergei Tereshenko drops to the far post on a power play and scores his second of the year. 2-0 Madlug now. Moving on to the third and there's plenty of scoring. First, Milan Bordovic gets the puck in the slot and buries it past Vasily Kostyuk for his fifth of the year. 2-1. Five minutes later, Slovan tie it up. Rock Teacher takes a shot from the right wing through the screen and that goes in. We tied it twos now. Later regulation, 4-4 four four hockey. Tomasz Filipe tries to center it for Wade Kowalski and the puck goes straight in. 3-2 Magnitka and there isn't a lot of time left on the clock. There is enough for them to score two more though. Oscar Osala scores his second of the year on an empty net to secure the W for Magnitka. And just 18 seconds later, Yevgeny Timkin sets the final score at 5-2 as he nets his second of the year as well. Magnitka take three points on the road. 5-2 is your final on this one. And that's a wrap for tonight. Tomorrow we kick off a whole new week of KHL action with seven games. Don't miss it. Until next time. My name is Andreas Lechinger. See you guys soon.